All right, so we have news here, news on a Monday morning. The Minnesota Vikings decide to lock up Justin Jefferson for the next four seasons. It's a $140 million deal, which certainly seems like a lot. He is now the highest paid wide receiver in NFL history, but it doesn't seem like it's that much a lot, I guess is what I would say. I mean, Jefferson has, you know, uh, Kyle and I on the podcast did our uh top 25 players, 25 and under, Jefferson was easily number one on the list. It was kind of like, okay, he's obviously number one. Who's number two now? Um, You know, I compare this to the Tyreek Hill contract. So Tyreek Hill got $30 million. But if you uh, look at the salary cap when those contracts were handed out, uh, Tyreek Hill's would have been 16% of the cap that year. It didn't go into effect until the following year, similar to Jefferson's. But, uh, you know, it would have been 16% of the salary cap that year. Justin Jefferson's is uh, like 13.7%. Uh, so it's not in terms of like cap percentage as high as the Tyreek Hill trades, uh, Tyreek Hill contract, excuse me. So that's certainly something you look at as a positive if you're a Vikings fan. Um, should get a couple plugs out here. I do have a movie channel. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about movies, check out the link in the description below. Uh, you can, you know, hear that also, uh, you know, Hey, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I almost never ask for it, but I should, I should get in the habit of doing that. So, uh, do that. Uh, it would help me out. But yeah, let's get back to the Justin Jefferson of it all. Is this a smart deal to pay this much on a wide receiver? Well, again, I think usually most people agree that if you can just get a superstar, just pay them regardless of position almost, like it's it's usually worth it. In my opinion, wide receiver is the second most important position in football. Having an elite wide receiver can do a ton for a football team and, you know, the Usually having a great receiving core is one of the most important things you can do outside of having the great quarterback. You also have to factor in, they don't have a great quarterback. At least they don't, uh, you know, have a guy who we've seen play great in the NFL level. You have J.J. McCarthy, who they just drafted with a top 10 pick, who they trust can be a good quarterback, but you want to be able to develop him. And the number one predictor of future success at the next level is uh, if you can, uh, you know, go into a situation to be successful well that's what the vikings are attempting to do here with you know uh keeping jefferson on the roster again i'm sure a big part of it is just want to keep jefferson but to me this is smart um it, it's hard to imagine him getting any worse it's hard to imagine this uh you know, going the other way um you can talk about guaranteed money he is going to be getting 110 million dollars of this contract guaranteed um, which is, you know, uh, obviously a, uh, a lot, but this is the thing where essentially what this means is that this isn't a contract you can get out of. This is a contract that, well, maybe you can get out of a little bit at a certain point. Uh, it, you're signing this contract, expecting him to play all of these seasons. Cause for whatever reason, some people always say, oh, all that matters is guaranteed money. Definitely not how that works. Uh, it only, ma- all that matters is guaranteed money. If you end up cutting the player, sure. But, uh, I don't think they're going to try and cut him at any point yes it's nice to have safety valves because anything can happen but uh in this scenario i don't think that this is even really uh what they're even kind of considering so yeah um you know uh, definitely interesting uh, stuff i see adam schefter i guess just got a uh, uh i think cd lamb's agent just reached out to him because he just posted a side-by-side stats of cd lambs and jefferson's which are similar so uh, that's a weird thing that uh, adam schefter just did but again obviously i think jefferson is uh you know uh best receiver and maybe best receiver in football certainly the best receiver uh oh my alarm's going off so i'll end the video but yeah let me know what you think about all this in the comments below Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.